Hi there, I'm Zoe. Welcome to this YouTube video. We have a sort of really delicious Pilates five minute flow, maybe six minute flow, um, that I hope you can come back to time and time again when you just want a little stretch to feel into your body. It's a great workout if you've got some nice, mellow morning music to just kind of get you feeling mindful and ready for the day. Enjoy. We're gonna come and stand to the back end of the mat with the feet hip width apart. Just take a moment, we're gonna close our eyes and we're just gonna feel into the ground and into the breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And again, breathing in. And exhale. So take that breath. Notice the rise and fall in your body, the lungs and the ribs expanding and the exhale allow you to feel a sense of connection to your centre, to your abdominals, maybe a softening of the shoulders as you really find that energy source in the middle of your body. Take a deep breath now, low the chin to the chest, gently lengthening the back of the neck. Roll the upper shoulder, um, the shoulders down, I'm sorry, bend the knees, and then as you exhale, ah, down we go, just gently drawing down towards the floor. Keep that head really nice and heavy, and maybe allow your shoulder blades to slide down a little bit longer. Take a breath in, and then as you exhale, roll in, scoop up the tummy, find that wee stacking of the spine. Feel the arms drawing down by the sides, take your time as you bring the head to perch right on the very top. Breath in. And then as you exhale, chin to chest, you can keep your eyes shut if you like. It kind of helps to just feel the movement and not get too distracted. Take a breath. And again, as you exhale, feel that engagement from the tummy, drawing in the ribs, drawing in the birds. You're feeling some little stretches and maybe a bit of ironing out going on through the spine. One more roll down here, deep breath. And then as you exhale, roll down. Now as you roll down this time, can you shift the weight to the front of your feet and take a soft bend in the knees? Just pause for a moment, let the arms glide forwards, let the chin drop in and just take a moment. Exhale. And again, breathing in. Exhale, if you had your eyes shut, could you open them, look towards the hands, and make sure your hands are in line with your feet, honouring those principles of alignment like we always do in Pilates. We're going to walk the hands forwards, just four hand strides. So you're going to feel as if you're coming into a kind of low level downward dog. Get your hands nicely aligned, and as you'll see, I'm in a small V shape here. I'm going to rise onto my toes, pull the tummy in, and I'm going to roll, ripple forwards through to find that front support. We're just going to hold here for four deep breaths, breathing in through the nose. Exhale. Okay. Feeling that power build from the middle. And last one, deep breath in. And exhale. Now we need to come to a seated position at the front of the mat. So you can either drop the knees and just walk the legs forward, swing them around. I'm going to bring one knee in towards the wrist on the same side and then just lift that back leg through. It doesn't really matter. Whatever feels nice, but I kind of want you to keep a really good sense of control and energy and make very conscious decisions about how you're going to move today. Come to a cross-legged position if you want to go into straight legs or a long fold position, that's fine. But first thing in the morning, for me, this is a nice comfy place to be. Okay, take the arms out. Lift them up. Interlace your fingers above your head. Feel that you're making a little rounded shape through the palms. And then bring the hands onto the back of the head. Let the head rest into the hands. Ah, take a deep breath in, like you're just really lying back and releasing any pressure through the neck. Breathe in here. And as you exhale, take a little spiraling twist to the right. Inhale forwards. Exhale left. The aim here is to feel into the breath and how it facilitates this 
spiraling motion. It's not to go very far. I don't want you to lift the shoulders. I don't want you to get tense. Breathing in. Exhale. And then we're going to just face forwards. We're going to bring the feet up in front of you. Take your arms out and just give yourself a little hug at the knees. Drop the head in. Relax the shoulders. Breathe in. Exhale. Can you make your chin really heavy? And see how that feels through the body. Another breath. And exhale. And I want you to bring your hands underneath the back of the knees. Elbows drawing out wide. Lift back and then lift up. So just to start creating a sort of feeling of flow through the spine without forcing anything. It's just... Um, it's like you're just letting the body know that we're going to start making some nice shapes. So bring your arms out in front of you, the palms facing each other. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, roll in the tummy, tilt the pelvis and start to control as you roll back through each vertebra of your spine. Feel the lower back land, but then allow it to release into its natural arches. Shoulders come down, head comes down. The arms go overhead. Circle the arms out to the side, as if bringing them down under the hips. Take a breath. Lift the head, lift the chest. You're still holding the breath here. Now use your exhale to come up. And as you roll up, the arms drift forwards. And as you restack your spine, let the knees and the hips open out to the side. Press the arms back for a delicious stretch. Take the arms out to the side. Keep up in the spine. Inhale as everything comes in. Tilt the pelvis, exhale as you lay back. Arms overhead. Inhale the arms circle, lift the head, lift the chest. Exhale as you roll. Lifting the arms, open the hips. This is a stretch for you. Take the arms out. Bring everything back, breathing in here. And then exhale back. Breathing in. Exhale, roll. Inhale, resetting. And then exhale back. Inhale. Exhale, roll. Open everything up. Take those arms out to the side. Then bring the hands underneath the thighs there, push the knees back together and you're gonna just tip yourself up. We're gonna roll back with control. So take the weight of the legs into the hands, breathe in. And then as you exhale, tilt the pelvis, look into the center, use your abdominals to control, but also push those hamstrings into the hands. This is gonna help you. Just come to the tips of the shoulder blades, press the lower back into the floor. Bring your right knee in, single leg stretch. Left hand on top of that knee, right hand comes to the outside. Create a nice long open hip here. Breathe in as you switch. Exhale, push that right leg away. And I want you to feel that control of the upper body. It doesn't move. Feel the, that exhale pulling the tummy in. And then we're going to turn this into more of a bicycle movement, if you can. So bending that top knee now, pushing away and bringing the top leg up. And then here, just supporting the leg as it straightens up above you. So pushing away, pushing away. And again, pause here. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, pull this leg towards you. Hold. Take the hands behind your head. We're going to inhale. And support the head and add rotation and, and the elbows need to stay wide. So don't rush. Make sure you're controlling the neck so that your obliques are doing the work. And again, there's that heat and and Bring both legs up, bring the knees in, give yourself a little hug. Ah, just a little bit of juice 
to fire you up when you've got sort of six, seven minutes of your day. Place your feet down onto the floor into our pelvic curls. Take a deep breath. Draw in the tummy, scoop up the pelvis, exhale, lift the bottom, give it a little squeeze, stay heavy at the stern. Let's inhale, let the arms going back. Let's exhale, roll down through your spine. Inhale, the arms come over. And then exhale, feel that exhale, drop the body down into the floor as you really connect it, as you lift up all these lovely bones, all the little muscles. Getting that lift off the floor. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, spine rolls down. Inhale, arms over. Now we're going to exhale and roll the spine up. Lift, lift, lift. Now keep finding that pelvic tilt and I want you to take the arms up. We're going to open the legs and the arms at the same time. So really opening through all the joints. Keep those abdominals connected. Keep a feeling of the pubic bone driving in towards your belly button, so think about that. Pubic bone driving into the belly button. Inhale as you open the arms, open the hips, but you feel your bottom squeeze. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and squeeze, and two more. So, last one, and pause here. Bring the arms down to the floor, take a deep breath. And then as you exhale, you're gonna roll all the way down through that spine. Take the arms up and over. Inhale, circle them around to the outside. Lift the head, lift the chest. And then exhale, roll all the way up. Cross your legs here for me. Just finishing, finishing with a sexy little shoulder roll. Just pause for a moment as you land on your sit bones. Sit tall, ribs connected, tummy in. Yeah, just pause, pause, pause. Inhale, lift the shoulders and roll them back as you exhale. And again. And then we're going to lift that right shoulder and then the left. And we're going to roll those shoulders. Now, as the left shoulder rolls down, I'm taking the weight to the right knee. So basically creating a little wavy motion through the body. If it feels weird, you can stay seated up, but I encourage you to close your eyes and find a nice little fluidity in this movement. Then we're gonna get lower and we're gonna drop the head in, keep pushing the knees down with the hands, relax the head, pull in the tummy, take a deep breath. As you exhale, we stack the spine here. Find your sit bones, sit up, but keep your chin dropped in. We're going to inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Just feel that little awakening on the other side of the neck. Inhale, roll the chin back down. Exhale, come up the other side. And again. And one more time. Just waking up any tension through the neck and shoulders. Nothing needs to be forced. Just control it with your breath. Bring the chin back to centre before you perch the head back on top. Roll it up. And then from here, take your hands just behind you. If you can come to a deep squat, do use blocks if you need to. And we're just going to pause here. Take the weight. Roll it across the feet for a moment. A little yogury moment. Again, if you can find a little shoulder rolls while you do that, it's just quite a delicious softening into your day, softening into your body. And then you're gonna drop those feet down, bring the hands onto the floor, take a deep breath. And as you come up, tip the head down, but take your bottom up towards the ceiling, straighten the feet, and you'll feel a little waking up through those delicious hamstrings. Relax the head, relax the arms, take a breath. And as you exhale, we roll up. You can bend your knees there if you feel like you just need a little bit of give in the body. Circle the arms out to the side. Bring them up above you. Then bring them all the way down. Heel, toe, feet into parallel. Tuck your tailbone. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Thank you very much for joining me for this little flow. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, leave comments, um, and I shall see you very soon.